everybody, welcome to Myths with PJ. Today's date, July 3rd, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be abundant. Deuteronomy 8, 7 through 9, For the Lord your God is bringing you into the good land of brooks, pools, gushing springs, valleys, and hills. It is a land of wheat and barley, of grape, vines, fig trees, pomegranates, olives, and honey. It is a land where food is plentiful and nothing is lacking. It is a land where iron is as com common as stone and copper is abundant in the hills. Also in Deuteronomy 28.11, The Lord will give you an abundance and good things in the land, just as he promised many children, many can cattle, and abundant crops. Psalm 67, 6, For the earth has yielded abundant harvest. God, even our own God, will bless you. All people from remote lands will worship him. Psalm 68, 9, You sent abundant rain upon the land, O God, to refresh it in its weariness. There your people live. For you gave them this home when they were desolate. Isaiah 44, 3, For I will give you an abundant water for your thirst and for your heart's fills, and I will pour out my spirit and my blessings on your children. Defined here, uh, abundant is a present in great qu quantity, more than adequate, oversufficient, well supplied with something, richly supplied as resources. God kept his promise when he brought Israel to the land of milk and honey. He provided for them abundantly. He does not want us to become weary so we can worship him. This is why he also provides for us abundantly. Each day we receive God's abundant blessings. We are abundantly provided for when desolate. Now today has been an abundant blessings. Many things have happened. Many doors have been opened today. And this is a major blessing. I want you to think about this on Sunday and have a blessed day.